Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the Vancouver Titans. Uh, so the Titans have made a lot of changes, and I think they have got. I think they got rid of the whole roster. I think I cannot remember, but either way, here is the roster. Yes, they have got rid of. Yes, they have got written. Got written. They got rid of their whole roster. So <laughs> all these guys are new, other than Shockwave, who who has returned to the team, which is a big W. Um, but alongside Shockwave in the DPS role, it is Aspire who's all, who did really good on the Toronto Defiant, and Seiko, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, so Seiko, I think he is he is formerly from Team Falcon, so Falcon's Esports EU, uh, which I guess is the top EU team, I think, I don't actually know, but I mean he has been in the scene for a, very, for a pretty long time. Um, but he's also yeah, he's also a projectile player, so yeah, I don't know what about him. I'll be honest. Um, but look, at least look, Shockwave and a Spy on the same team—that's automatically really, really good in my eyes. So I'm pretty excited for that DPS uh, duo. I think Seiko may may have some playtime there, but we just have to um, we just have to wait and see if that's the case. Uh, for the supports. So they have Massa formerly from the Atlanta Rain. They have Aztec formerly from the, the Toronto Defiant, and Scarepa, I think I say say it, or Scarepa, I don't know. He's formerly from British Hurricanes, and I mean British Hurricanes is, I mean, was the top team before um, the Team Falcons. Uh, before Falcons Esports EU came along. I mean, British Hurricane is still like the top team though so there's no denying that like it's definitely up there um but i mean i guess you could say like Falcons esports is the best or british hurricane which is i mean you could say either of them really eu is definitely a lot more uh competitive i'm get I'm, I'm guessing like other than like other i guess other regions but um yeah that's what i'll really say so and I think I think Scripper is a main support, yeah. So Scripper is a main support. I think uh, that means Martha is also a main support. I don't know why my dogs are barking. What the hell was that? Um, but um, I mean, decent support lineup. The one that I'm a bit worried about is False. Uh, he is the only tank player, and he is formerly from uh, Mabi Wasabi. Obviously, the best. Um, one of the best North American teams. He's he is a flex player, which I I mean, I mean get the benefit of that. That's pretty good still. Um, but I mean, I do hope that they add a tank player before the season begins. If not, then oh dear. Especially he's a rookie. Because if he's a rookie, um, wouldn't it just be better to have two tanks? Even though even though you you could have two two rookie tanks, but that's all right. At least just have a replacement that sort, just just in case, like a substitute, just in case if he doesn't perform well, um, because I think that might be the big issue here. Even though I, even though I was seeing there was a lot of praise for False, and everyone was very happy that False finally got into the league, um, but I'm a bit skeptical about about False. I think he's still going to do really really well. It's just I think he's just going to struggle, which is the issue. Um, but at least um, look, at least he's in the North American region, not in the APAC region where APAC is a lot more stacked um, compared to the North America region, but there's obviously a lot more stacked. I mean, there's more stacked North American teams than APAC teams, but still, you know what I, you know what I mean. Either way, uh, for the all the former players, so Shredlock actually retired mid-season. Um, Dalton, Rolf, Teru, Changsik, Fire, and Fried Wiener. No teams at all. They have not been signed at all. Linkser has retired. I think he has gone over to Valorant, but I might be wrong with that. Um, I do hope I actually get to see everyone else who has not retired yet um, in the league very, very soon. I really am hoping about that. Um, apparently, um, definitely Dalton. I would love to see him back in. Terror, uh, Chansica mode as well. Um, maybe even Friday Wiener. I don't know. But, I mean, the Titans had a a very dismal season um, last year, so yeah, I'm not that surprised there. For the coaches, they have not changed a single thing, which still worries me. So they kept Flubby and Pew. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I don't like that. I, I don't like how they haven't changed anything. I just don't. 
I don't like because I think um, I think the coach I, th I think the coaches might be the issue and it's also because they've broken the number one rule which I which I said which is to have a minimum of three coaches they only have two coaches so I'm not a big fan of that already <laughs> just instantly I'm not a big fan of that so I hope I really do hope that um, at some point they can get a coach uh, if not, then that's going to be very, very, very bad. Uh, just hope they get another coach. That is really all I'm praying for about um, the coach itself for the Vancouver Titans. But let's now move on to the out of 10 rankings. So we got DPS. The DPS, I do think, is the strongest one, but if we compare it to the other ones, I mean, it's not that good. I'm really going to probably going to give them a 7. I think 7 out of 10 for the DPS is pretty generous. Could maybe give them a five or a six, but I think well, I think seven is pretty good. Um, I mean, look, Shockwave and Aspire on the same team, and both of them, guess what? Both of them performed extremely well for their teams last year, for the Philly Fusion and the Toronto Fire, respectively. So, I mean, I won't be disappointed. And they also have Seiko, who might also be really good as well, but we just have to wait and see. Supports, I'm also a bit, I'm a tiny bit more worried about, which is why I'm probably going to give them a 6, I think, um, 6 for support is also pretty good. There you go. I do think, but how, I do think it is going to be a lot better season than it was last year for them. I do think so. I think they made some serious upgrades, um, especially on the DPS and support lineup. Tanks is a bit of an issue. <laughs> And um, I don't really like doing this, but I mean, I feel like it might be a five. I think uh, tanks. Um, I mean, because I only have one tank. I think that's a five. I think false might be really decent though, um, but I just don't know how they're gonna go, which is worrying for me because I think false might be a great player. It's just that he just has so much pressure on him because he's the only tank player, and if, and all the other and all I mean it makes sense that all the other roles has three, um, has three players, but at least have like, at least give false like another backup just in case, just so, you know, if he doesn't perform well, he can he can, obviously, um, there's someone always waiting for him on the bench, um, so. I do hope they add another tank player by uh, by the time I I finish recording this. Um, as for the coaches, I that is my pen still. As for the coaches, I'm gonna give them. I'm really tempted to give them a 4.5. I'll be honest, or even a f like it, 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 either 4.5 or a 5 is what I'm really tempted to give them, because this coach. The, this question line out already doesn't work. Already doesn't. It, I, I, just, I can tell it just won't work at all. Unless they somehow just do it. Uh, like, to somehow, like, win, like, all of their matches. Then, uh, I'll probably get... You know what? I'll, 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 oh my god, that is not it, Chief. i give them a 5. Let's give them a 5. 5, coach. Because, I mean, <laughs> they're already broken... My golden rule, they have only two coaches, not three, and they, 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 they have done this, they've, they've tried this coaching lineup for now, this is, this is now going to be their third year, it still has not worked at all, so I am not very um, excited for this team, but I do think they're going to be a tiny bit better than last year, just... Don't expect them to be anywhere near the mid pack. I just want to say that. But expect them to be in the tail end of the NA and the and all of the teams of the Overwatch League. Just maybe in front of everyone. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think the I'm gonna check what the next one is. The uh, next uh, team is the LA Valiant. Oh, lovely! I love the Valiant. Uh, that's gonna be so much fun for me to record. Uh, but yeah, but anyway. Um, catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.